So this is an Uber Eats driver, and you know what? It's a, it's a, it's a simple video, and it's a simple video that clearly shows you what happens when you have the power to decline, to not accept, uh, especially um, if it's in an area or at a certain time where maybe there are not many drivers around and this person's hungry or, you know, they smoke the joint and they now have the munchies and they need to eat and they place an order at a crazy time. Um, powerful, powerful set of steps that you can do to drive the price up. Let the driver explain. We've gone over this and you can you can comment afterwards what this is called. Something on my phone and a five dollar Uber Eats order came. I do Uber Eats deliveries once in a while. If you look at the time up left from one twenty four a.m., I kept declining. There weren't that many drivers okay. available, and the maximum base pay in my area is thirty five dollars. I'm in California, no. so I was patient and I kept declining. No. And from five dollars, the order went up to thirty five dollars. There was almost no tip in this order, and when there are not enough drivers or drivers keep declining, the apps have to pay a reasonable wage per delivery. So, great short video showing you how he drove the price up from five to thirty-five dollars. Um, now, Uber Eats is going to charge an arm and a leg to this individual. But they cannot afford to not satisfy that order. That order has been placed. It now has to be delivered. So the power of, you know, declining, the power of keeping that acceptance rate low. Um, there are videos out there of people that are trying to convince me and others that you should accept everything and you'll still make money. Bullshit. I'm sorry. The, 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 the more you know your worth, the more you step into your worth, the more you know the boundaries, sorry, won't work under that, will work over that. And he just did an experiment, you know, he just, he was smart because he knew, okay, it's a crazy time, there's not many people around, um, I'm going to see how high I can drive this up. And, 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 and this is brilliant. I mean, this is, to me, this is a brilliant Uber Eats driver. He's got a channel, I put the link below deserves your subscription let's support him let's help him let's boost him but it's it's a simple and powerful video and it goes back to one thing the master of cherry picking right the master of keeping the low acceptance rate and again it's a great opportunity for me to remind uh Darrell Kosha Shawi, David Risha, Tony Zhu all of these CEOs we not you we are independent contractors you get paid hundreds of millions of dollars over the duration of a few years. We are independent contractors. We own the car, the bike, the scooter, the electric bike, whatever the case may be. We do the delivery, we make the decision. If you offer us a pathetic $5, it's not happening. It then jumped up, not happening. Then jumped up to 25, started getting attractive. Let's see how, how much higher we can drive it. Went up to 35, except now you are paying me my worth. Because now I got to like look at okay, what are we what are we talking here? How many minutes, right? It's just it, it, it's already just sixteen minutes to 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 the to the pickup area. Then then that food has to go from the, the the restaurant, the pickup area, over to the client. So are you paying me my worth? This driver at this point says, yeah. Now I'm stepping into my worth. I will now accept. So not accept, not accept, not accept, accept. Cherry pick, cherry pick, cherry pick or drive the price up, whatever you want to call it. It works. The simple trick works when you apply it. And thanks to this awesome driver. Keep up the great work. Keep your videos coming. Your comments, please.